Add-ons. Add-ons. There it is. Yes. It so. Wago. Wago is uh, the place to go for wah. Mm. <laughs> weak auras. Yep. Right? That's where so many of us go for weak auras all the time. Mm. And they are going to be providing add-ons. Yes, which is very, very interesting because so many people, like, I don't remember how bad it was when Twitch took their Sorge. Mm. I don't remember too much of a blowback there. I remember people just going, ah, whatever, it's fine. I mean, most people, to be honest, probably had the Twitch app installed anyway or visited it regularly because it was up and coming at the time. I believe my timelines are right. But it was a seamless enough experience. But no matter what they do, having Overwolf installed isn't a seamless experience. It's a, another thing in your computer and you may yeah. not want it. Yeah, it, 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 for actually using it, it is seamless. I was, I was impressed by how Overwolf didn't get in my way when I tried yeah. the, when I tried their app for the, for add-ons, but I just know what's there. I moved my mouse to the left of the screen, what's this big pop-up that I didn't really want. And now, obviously the other clients, because I mean, I swapped using Azure, the client oh, okay. ages ago because it's that but quicker handles the lui updating as well and it also has the weak aura updater in as well so it has it has it has function for that okay for weak auras you do need to go into game and update them right but it'll be a one-click solution instead of re-importing i think i need to change then yeah that's good I, yeah it's great and wago now a lot of those other clients are they they use the existing catalogs and libraries at First Forge at Go Interface and uh, with the LVI stuff. Yeah. And obviously, LVI site isn't just LVI. It also has all of the little accoutrements that go alongside. They're fantastic. But Wago is now like, hey, yeah, you come to our site anyway. If you play the game like at any sort of higher level, you probably use Weak Horse because they're a massive saver. So here you go. We're gonna <laughs> we're working on add-ons and not just other sources. You can upload your add-ons to them and here's where they basically meet uh overwolf head on but yeah so uh we'll pay you or sorry not they won't pay you per se but it's monetized there will be okay. there, there will be a path there will be a path to monetization here and that is subscribers directly through wago in the future which i don't know if you remember a uh a, let's not go into too much detail but the last time someone tried to uh monetize Mythic Dungeon that? Tools. Yes. Yeah, that didn't go I mean, extremely well. We don't need to beat around the bush. Person <laughs> thought they could basically charge for uh, a bunch of the data, which is all the useful stuff in yep. the add-on that they created. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and a lot of their justification was that so many streamers like have their weak aura profiles, uh, you know, behind a stream sub or something like that. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm going to remain neutral, you know, think yeah. of this what you will. Um, generally, I do think that if people are providing a valuable service, then there should be a way for them to be compensated uh, for doing so. Mm -hmm. And we probably do have a situation where, you know, somebody can be putting in a near full-time amount of, of work, be creating something used by tens, tens of thousands, many thousands of people. And I mean, the donation economy for something like an add-on where there is not really a personal, yeah. you know, a sort of a there's not really a personal connection between the user and the developer yeah i cannot so i can understand all of that yep and i think as it applies to something like this mm -hmm. if they can reasonably get a a pathway then what you're doing is you're building the engine of add-on creation mm -hmm. like this is the thing that i i remember getting a little bit a little bit pissed at the discourse whenever paid skyrim add-ons were a thing and steam was yes. trying to do that because everyone was sitting there basically being like, oh, all these developers are doing work and now they're going to charge me for things. Um, I mean, those developers are doing work. I mean, <laughs> if they're doing that for free in their spare time, you know, sure thing. But if you could make it so that a really good Skyrim mod or World of Warcraft add-on could be a monetized thing mm -hmm. um, or could have some sort of, you know, via something like this, something that is actually economically viable, what you do is you create an economic engine that will cause growth in that sector. That growth can be more add-ons and better add-ons. So there could be a situation if something like that worked um, and you know, that monetization problem was solved, then yeah, your add-ons could all feel like better polish, better quality than like Blizzard UI. 
Yeah, I mean, I don't know how successful they were in the past, but obviously DBM's been running uh, DBM. We've already they all yeah. been running. Yeah, it's only, only the on. biggest ones really that yeah. have. Like, I'm I'm patroned to. Um, I'm a, yes, I'm a patron of Week as an yes. example. Yeah, I mean, I slightly different, but it falls under the same realm of the economy of the economy surrounding the game. Does it mean I pay for Raidbox Premium? I pray for pray for um <laughs> pay. Pray. I, if I did not have Raidbots <laughs> Premium, I'd probably pray for it because I won't be stuck in a queue. But I have Raidbots Premium, and I'm not at all begrudging of that because they offer an incredible tool. They give you a free version that is quite usable. Yep. And if you want that premium experience, more server time, yeah, you got to pay for it. And mm -hmm. fair enough. The fact that I have an ability to pay for raid bots means that they can develop raid bots more, which is a net positive for everybody. Yeah, and there's a, there's a very, very big difference <laughs> in the user experience of going to, because obviously we mostly use the programs to manage add-ons because doing that manually now would be a nightmare. But, you know, you'll click them and maybe there'll be a Patreon link somewhere there. Uh, maybe you'll go to it, maybe you'll see one patron, yeah. two patrons, but that's only if you're super engaged. But much like with how people engage with Twitch, and go, oh, there's a there's a stream I really like. Ah, here's here's a sub. The button's there, it's fine. Same with what they're trying to do here with the uh with more ways to earn. Gain subscribers directly through what I go. That means if you know it doesn't even matter, well, it does if they do want to offer a premium experience, but it's against TOS, I believe, to yeah, to offer paid add-ons. So that means they. I mean, a pro that. Yeah, TOS yeah, should yeah, not yeah. change. Yeah. Paid add ons, um, not a thing. Yeah, paid add ons um, shouldn't be a thing, but if you have a button and, you know, maybe maybe you'll get priority support, maybe you'll get something like. Uh, something, well, you'll get automatic updates anyway, I imagine. Yeah, but you get, you get anything. Is. If that button's there and you really love the experience of using. Uh, let's, use the, let's use a recent example as kind of popular Tomcats. Yeah. <laughs> That that person has put so much work into that add-on, and every time a holiday rolls around, and it just bombards me. Hey, here's the perfect experience for how to do all of this stuff, and like this is like the way it's seamlessly integrated as like a quest log tab and everything. Yeah, so good. It feels like it outside of a couple little things, which I'm sure is just add-on jank. It's basically like it feels like part of the game to me at this point, and honestly, if <laughs> if when I uh, back in 8.2 when I was getting all the Mechagon and Nagitar stuff done, if there was a subscribe button for say one, two, five, ten dollars for Tomcat, I'd have hit that five. I'm like, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. This thing is this thing is so helpful to my everyday. And it's I might as well pay for it. Yeah, I mean, I'm not too sure what else there is. Basically Wagos going into add-ons, uh I think a difference. Mm -hmm. Uh versus some of the other solutions and a similarity with over with overwolf is they're trying to provide a path to monetization yeah. so yeah i mean i'm all for that i wish them the best um i guess the other interesting thing is they are owned by method yes yes so i believe which is uh which kind of shows where they've probably got a lot of funding to push this through because like the features they talk about will be very very nice if they get because yeah. these guys are a bunch of developers and Developers maybe can't make great guys, maybe not super good user experience, but in terms of this thing will work, I find a lot of add-on developers are very good at that. But yeah. 